Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here and I do hope you are well. Welcome in Cancerian. Thank you so much for the likes, shares and the subscribes on this channel. I'm really grateful for your show of support on this channel Cancerian. Moving forward into this intense seeming love reading for you which this fire sign is all over this reading. Every shuffle I shuffle a fire sign energy pop so like there's this intense chase or passion or drive to pursue you okay fire sign aries leo sagittarius this person could be returning coming in coming back showing up again wanting to it's almost like they go work on themselves to come back to say hey see me here you know I'm in the running for your life, for your love. Hmm. I mean, for your attention, for your passion, your desires. This person wants to be seen by you. I'm hearing trailblazer on fire in hot pursuit of you, I feel. Now this one, the king of wands, they want to say something to you, Cancer. Now looking at this person, oh, their face, they're kind of upset maybe disappointment screw face because you know like how dare you not give me this attention like <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> this person is saying can't you see that i am hot for you this looks like you know this feels like a effing pervert like a person with their 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 penis in their hands looking at you Listen, I'm getting a real terrible energy now. I don't like it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm getting the R word. And I don't mean to. But this, you know, it's that energy of this a pervert, a sexual predator that's looking at you, wondering if you don't see that they're attracted, attracted to you. And it's upset that you're not giving them the attention, feeling on themselves, touching on themselves like... Like they're saying, um, look at this girl acting like, you know, and you're acting like you're better than them and this person is touching. You know, I don't like that nasty energy. So maybe be careful of that because I wonder why I stopped shuffling at this king. Maybe this is someone you worked with or someone that has a business, is the head of a company, a creative person. This person may pretend or their face. Something about this person's nose and mouth it looks weird or ill-shaped. And for some reason, they just feel like they are all that. Maybe because they have their own business, some bag juice company or something like that. And they feel like, okay, yeah. And this person probably wears jeans and a lot of jewelry. Maybe not a lot. Some, some piece of bling that they feel makes them attractive looking and they're like oh how dare you cancer i feel i'm reading for the divine feminines today how dare you be chasing your dreams and not giving me your attention who is this king of wands so cancer this person may be approaching you you know what i mean so look this is love reading for the next three days I don't know if this person is a friend of yours. Could be a friend. Someone could be someone close to you. You know, maybe it's not necessarily that R word, but it's that intense, um, intense attraction, erection, and all these emotions boiling up when they see you, and you're just completely ignoring this, this person. What is this energy? I feel like, what is this? This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. As if they don't want what you're offering. Does this person want something to end? What is this tower energy? Oh, it's like they want to take you off of your pedestal. So I'm saying 
Like be careful where you are walking. Maybe they don't like your friendliness. Like you're not what you're offering is not enough. They want something different. You're going to have to set something straight. We did see the the Knight of Swords energy. You're gonna have to set something straight with these people. Let them know their place, Queen of Swords, precisely. Let them know their place. Let them know who you are. Because for some reason they feel like they have some authority over your body, over your mind, over your attention. Okay. And because you're not giving them that attention, they want to, sh to ruin something. They want to hurt you, I feel. Maybe hurt your money or source of income, whatever they feel like it's making you feel like you're on a high horse. And I feel like they would do that to laugh at you and then walk away. These bastards. Feminine energy. Somebody is, I'm telling you, somebody is males out here. They're no good. Alright, so let's see Kenza putting this one in his their place divine feminine show me show me this okay call on your angel for protection what's that source maybe source something to protect yourself with what's the seven of wands I don't know, you're going to have to protect maybe your source of income stream. Look to lock something down to really protect it. It's like having a safe and having security codes and then having some some um arms somewhere close to the safe, like really locking and shielding down. Protecting yourself through divine intervention too. You're going to have to ask because you know who these people are. You can feel their energy. So I feel cancer. This is supposed to be a love reading, but it's really telling me about people that are maybe predators. Some, I feel some are predators. One have, like maybe one particular person has these intense feelings toward you and because you're not giving them the time of day they feel offended or hurt and bothered because they feel like they're supposed to be that ish you know what i mean but you're so focused on where you're going and cultivating your own beauty and your own stream of well-being you're not even concerned but you need to be careful because they're all caught up in your world and what you're doing you know what i mean who you are I mean, are you are you into women? You know, they could be asking that question too. All right. So let the genders apply. Divine, masculine. Let your roles come in here and fit in wherever it's applicable. But I do feel like this is for feminine energy in love. There is there is a person though this night of ones who feels more friendly, like a friendly approach. Like someone who is really chasing you that maybe you've blocked a connection with. This person is coming in with something about money or finances or well-being or possessing something valuable to share with you or to give with to give to you. Okay. But like I say, I don't feel like you're entertaining any of this. I want to know where you're... What, what's cancer looking so? Because your attention is focused. This sword... See, the ace, the sword's energy coming back up for you, Cancer. This is your focus on what manifesting, what? What's me? Your soulmate, hmm. your 
maybe you're focusing on your heritage, your roots, your passions, your purpose. All these new feelings coming in with to you, your sense of power, your gifts, and really meeting your soulmate. The two of cups. The king of cups. At really meeting your soulmate. The perfect partner I feel for the queen of cups. This King of Cups could be water sign. A new love that's coming in for you, Pisces. They see you as like a lot of wishes, like a miracle, like a dream come true. We see two tens here. The Ten of Pentacles, like a lot of money gains, feeling good, beautiful vibrations coming in, like a new wish being granted for this person. Like honestly, this person feels like they're also moving into you and they're looking at the Ten of Pentacles. It feels like the moment that they see you you know <laughs> it's like one of those bollywood bollywood movies look and um because <laughs> you know it's dramatic and so she's what the moment they see you it's like slow motion and then this there's light around you you know it's like that kind of drama and uh but for this person, it's much more serious or humble or sincere, you know, genuine. It's inspiring emotions. And both of you may feel like this is a dream come true. Yes, as you guys unite. Second, so I do feel like you're really focused on moving into a beautiful space where you are directly achieving and manifesting your dream come true. You're, it's like sharp, sharp focus right now for you. All right. Beautiful messages, especially in the end. Thank you for coming through. I love you so much. Thank you for liking the video, sharing it with those you love, and for subscribing to the channel if you have not done so already. I am so really grateful for your, your participation and you being here on this channel. It means so much to me. I can. So remember that you are all and all is within you. And I'll see you in the next reading, my darling. Until next time, take care. Much love.